Okay, just so I will explain about basic interface of 3D Studio Max, so very introductory. So this one is the, your first view. Um, as you see, if you click mid button, uh, middle button in your mouse, it's a it's pen. And if you click uh, right mouse button, you can see extra context menu. And if you want to change, uh, if you want to see another view, if you go down here on the right bottom corner, then you probably see maximize viewport toggle, which is actually, if you click it, it will kind of you will see a quadra kind of four views, and then one left top one is top view, front view, and perspective. And one easy shortcut is if I click top view, and then if I click a Z button, then you will see every geometries in one view. I will do the same for fr on front view. I click the front view and activate the viewport. You see the kind of orange boundary lines meaning that it is activated and I press Z button also I'll click left and I do Z also I click perspective and also click Z so kind of I kind of centered all the geometries and then make sure that this one is on the right side in lighting a unit is everything so what you have to check is we what we know is this one is 10 feet by 8 feet so first of all go to customize and under customize there's a unit setup and currently it is metric now so i first check system unit and i'll check that this one is inches this is good for us and i'll ch uh, change this one as uh, us standard uh, which is showing feet and inches there are several options so choose whatever you want and i probably i may want to fit and fractional or decimal inches it's just up to you and then lighting unit uh, should be international and then i'll just click ok and let's talk about the size of the uh, window uh, of the, your geometry. So again, uh, mid button is fan. So <coughs> excuse me. To check the uh, unit, uh, one of the easiest way is actually create a geometry similar to eight by ten feet. So to create a geometry in 3D Studio Max, uh, there are many different tabs. The first one is create. Second one is modify. Uh, third one is uh, hierarchy, motion, and display, and utilities. Uh, all we going to all we are going to use is simply uh, create and modify mainly. So in so Rhino uh, 3D Max's workflow is a simply you create a geometry and modify its locations and sizes. So first create, and you can create a lot of different things. But here I will just select. I just click a standard primitive which is basic geometry and click just box and then now you are ready to create a box so here I will click on the left corner and the top corner I still actually pressing the left mouse button and I release it uh, when I actually have a similar size of geometry uh, below the shape geometry then it actually you can actually select the uh, size of it so going to uh, front view, I kind of move move around it and then just uh, click one more time to decide the height. I click uh, left mouse button one more time. And if you see that this one says 7 feet 8 length and 10 feet height and height is 9 feet. So roughly we can guess that this one is right size. So we have 10 feet by 8 feet by dimension. So everything is okay. So I delete uh, this geometry by clicking just the uh, delete key in your keyboard. So I delete that. So everything is ready. So, so far you are ready. Um, so that's it for uh, some basic interface. So if you want to see another view, uh, so make sure that this one is clicked. So now what you are going to do is you are going to create a block. If you want to select and change geometry on the top menu bar, if you click this one, this one is select object. So you can select this object or this one is select and move. This one is select and rotate, and this one is select and uniform. And if you want to precisely uh, move and rotate, uh, while your uh, mouse uh, cursor is on top of one of this menu, uh, click right mouse button. Then you will see this kind of move transform type in a window, which actually you can actually numerically control. And left one is absolute, and this one is offset, which is based on. So this one moves based on the zero zero zero. Uh, this one is based on the center point of a geometry and also if you click uh, 
right mouse button on select and rotate button then actually you will see the same thing another uh, another useful one is actually if you see this one or this one is called a selection filter meaning that you can select you can select geometry shapes or light uh, camera separately this one will be very useful once we create a, a sun uh, on this model view okay that's it uh, for this one